hey hi everyone hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm going to use a um, no code backend along with another tool called greta and we'll create a full stack application using that we'll set up a database here right and uh, let me create a database very quickly so i'll give this a name as book db so let's say I want to have uh, books. I'll have book name. Then I'll have uh, uh, what we say the author. Then have the price. And finally, we'll have the image for the book. So price will be int and image can be varchar itself we will just provide the url of the image to the book and author again can be uh, the varchar here so this looks good all right so we have our database created and we have the api endpoints generated as well for this uh, database i'll just quickly create a secret key and then we'll go and test out uh, our database so I'll just copy this API secret key and I'll just go to the API documentation right now this these are the API endpoints I'll just quickly authorize this with the secret key and uh, let's start creating any random book here I'll click on try it out I'll give this a name as author will be let's say uh, James price is 100 and since I do not have an image right now so we can just pick any URL for the any image from the internet for the moment uh let's say we have this thing okay documentation and just paste that url there and just click on execute so it says record has been created which is good and if i go back to my databases now we have another option called a swagger json so what this does is if i just click on that it will generate an open api swagger uh, specification for this entire database so what it is in the short term it is doing is it is just giving you all the api endpoints as it is how this is useful you can just copy this and i'll just supply this again just as it is to greta or if you're using cursor or lovable or any tool you can just provide these json data and that tool will understand all the api endpoints so it contains a base url it contains all the endpoints all the methods all the parameters and the entire structure of how the api endpoints are created okay so this is a, a very useful feature okay now you have all the endpoints at once uh, which you can just copy and paste to your uh, preferred uh, front end tool so i'll just copy this thing and now i'll go to greta so here i'll just create a book listing app so I'll just simply prompt it as Now I'll just mention it, what I actually need uh, inside Greta. All the listings. Okay. Let's see how it works.
I think we are now almost ready. Let's see it's I think it's still installing some packages. All right, so we have a UI ready. This looks quite good, but I see these are some dummy data from Greta. <laughs> we do not need this. We need the data coming from our own APIs. So I, let me see, we have add book. Okay, so it is actually using all the fields that we have inside our database right okay I think we missed one thing we need to tell it like it will also use the secret key right as uh, as an authorization so the secret key here will work as a bearer token right for the authorization of the API keys so we need to mention here so add will be let me right now provide it uh, like provide it as a hard code value here but you can ask it to save this value as some kind of environment variable so if you're actually re developing this at a production level you need to store these kind of details in your uh, environment file so that it is not exposed to the end users or the public but right now for the demo purposes i'll just provide it my secret key directly so that it can just uh, map that with the apis i have to copy my secret key add authorization enter okay so wow so i see it has integrated with our own secret key now and if you remember this was the image and this is the test book that we created while we were testing out our api endpoint so this looks pretty good actually nice so let me tell you it was just a first try on the greta and it came out really well without any errors so this is good and uh, now let's create a new book and i can give it a name as um, harry potter author is jk rowling let's give it a price of 99 dollars i uh, need an image here copy image address and i'll just paste that here wow so it is also giving us a preview as well i'll click on create book and uh, there you go <laughs> nice so we have a working application okay and this is not just any like it will not wipe away so this is actually being persistent this should be storing in our database if i just try to read all the books it should display these new books that we have just created just click on execute and uh, there you go so this was the new book that we just created right so that means our integration with no code backend is working and the whole purpose of this video was just to let you know how easy it is to integrate when you provide the swagger json data this one that i just showed you this thing swagger json this is a new feature that we have added which can provide with all the endpoints all the structure of the database at once and it helps those uh, wipe coding tools to determine like how to integrate with your api endpoints like so uh, instead of going and just copying and pasting each and every endpoint details there 
you have everything at once let's try to edit one of the book here and see if it is actually working or not click on edit so edit is not working let me delete this okay so these are not working let me i can simply ask it to make it functional so not sure what this means but i just want to proceed right now all right so it has uh, i think made few changes to the code let's try that out let me edit this one uh, okay so i see that it form let me change harry potter let me change the price to 499 so instead of 99 we have 499 let me add here as well harry potter let me change this to harry potter book okay so we made some uh, two changes here one to the title and one to the price i click on update book and it has updated good we have to verify this by going back so for the moment it is showing harry potter and if I just execute this again, it should show the updated name and we do have the updated name and the updated price. So this means our uh, APIs are working perfectly fine with Greta. Okay, try deleting this book. Says it shows a very good clean model as well before deleting. I just click on delete so it has deleted let's verify this and this time this record should not exist because we have deleted that so if I just try to execute reading all the books there you go so it has actually deleted that book from our database as well entire application is now properly integrated with a database using no code backend and that means we have a persistent full stack application uh, already created of course you need to create a lot of other elements here as well right but you got the idea we have a database and we have a front end ready now and now the imagination is what will hold you back, right? So that now all depends on your own imagination and logic, how you want to take this further. So this is quite surprising. Like on the first go itself, I got a working application without any errors. So this is very rare when you use a wire coding tool. You do get a lot of two and fourth. I mean, I have seen this with Lovable and uh, I think a few times with Cursor as well. You have to do a lot of two and fourth, but uh, on Greta, surprisingly, it was a one shot, uh, a, a one shot success for me, if I put that way. So this was all from this video and I hope this was quite helpful in understanding like how you can actually make a use of the AP endpoints. So this was all from this video if you have any suggestions related to how no code backend works then please drop an email to our support and we'll try to respond to your queries as soon as possible till then thank you and uh, take care